Hey there, Thinking Big family. Welcome back to another power-packed episode of the Thinking Big podcast. I'm your host, Sean Osborne, and today we are going to dive into step seven of Napoleon Hill's classic, Think and Grow Rich, which is decision, the mastery of procrastination. And this is part of a Think and Grow Rich series. So if you've missed steps one through six, go back take a listen or take a watch and uh, get to know this book very well. So this step, folks, is the real game changer. So buckle up because by the end of this episode, you're going to be able to understand why mastering decision making can catapult you to new heights of success in today's fast paced world. So let's get started. So imagine this, you're standing at the crossroads. One path leads to success, The other leads to stagnation. The only thing standing between you and your dreams is a decision. Sounds dramatic, right? But that's exactly what Napoleon Hill emphasizes in step seven. Hill begins this chapter with a powerful statement. Accurate analysis of over 25,000 men and women who had experienced failure disclosed the fact that the lack of decision was near the head of the list of the 30 major causes of failure. Let that sink in for a moment. It's not just a theory. It's a fact based on extensive research. Procrastination, the nemesis of decision, is an enemy we must all conquer. And on the flip side, successful people share a common trait as well. They were decisive. They made decisions promptly and changed them very slowly, if at all. Think about that. How often do you find yourself stuck in the paralysis of analysis, waiting for the perfect moment that never actually comes? We've all been there. We all do that. We always, we always think we, you know, we, we, I'll get there when I have the time or I'll do it when I, you know, when I have the money to do it or when I know the people or when I have the skills. There's never a perfect moment. You've got to make the decision and go. You know, take Henry Ford, for instance. One of the most outstanding qualities was his decisiveness. Despite being advised to change the Model T, he stuck with it and the decision yielded a massive success for him. Sure, he might have been just a bit obstinate, but his firmness paid off. I think it's far better to be decisively obstinate than wishy-washy and ineffective at all. And in today's world, we are bombarded with information and opinions. Social media, news outlets, and even our close friends and family can cloud our judgment. And Hill warns us against being influenced by the opinions of others. He says, opinions are the cheapest commodity on earth. And if you let them dictate your decisions, you will never succeed. Harsh, maybe. True, absolutely. Procrastination, my friends, is the polar opposite of decision, and it's an enemy we must conquer to be successful. You know, we've all been there, putting off tasks, delaying decisions, waiting for the right time. But here's the cold heart truth. There is no right time. There is only now. When should you start? Now. When should you do it? Now. Not tomorrow. Start now. Do it now. That's the only time you have is right now. And he'll gives us some powerful examples within the book on decisive actions that shaped history. He talked about Abraham Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation. You know, Socrates choosing to drink poison rather than compromise his beliefs and the signing of the Declaration of Independence. These were not just decisions. They were courageous leaps of faith that changed the course of history. Think about the decisions that you make daily, your career, your relationships, your health. Every choice you make shapes your future. And the ability to side quickly and firmly is a muscle you need to build. It's like going to the gym. The more you exercise it, the stronger it gets. So how do we become masters of decision-making? Well, Hill provides some timeless advice. Number one, keep your own counsel. When making decisions, seek facts and information quietly. Don't disclose your purpose to everyone. Be selective about whom you confine in. As a matter of fact, the only people I ever talk with my, my ideas and my goals and stuff are my mastermind group. Number two, listen more, talk less. People who talk too much often miss opportunities to accumulate useful knowledge. Keep your eyes open and your ears open. Number three, commit to your decisions. Once you decide, stick to it. 
change your decisions very slowly, if at all. This builds confidence and resilience. You stick to it no matter what. No matter how much it hurts, you stick to your decision. And here's a few practical tips. Set deadlines. You know, give yourself a timeline to make decisions. This prevents procrastination. You know, if you have to weigh pros and cons, you know, list the benefits and drawbacks. This makes the decision-making process more structured if that's what you like. And number three, this is so important, trust your gut. Often our instincts are more reliable than we give ourselves credit for and we have to start trusting our instincts. And that's actually what part of this book is about. I would rather trust my gut, take action, and if it's wrong, learn from it than not making any decision at all and just procrastinating. In our age of information overload, it's so easy to get lost in this endless research. But at some point, you have to pull the trigger. Or as my dad used to say, Sean, you need to shit or get off the pot. Whether it's launching a new business, switching careers, or even deciding a new fitness regime, decide and taking action is the absolute key. Hill highlights that the value of decisions often depends on the courage required to make them. Decisions that shape us, that shape our history or personal success require us to step out of our comfort zones and embrace uncertainty. Those are the hard decisions that we need to make. Those are the ones that change us. Consider the Continental Congress a decision to declare independence from Britain. It was a decision fraught with risk and potential death. But it birthed our nation. And similar, in your life, courageous decisions could mean the difference between mediocrity and greatness. Here are some practical applications. You know, embrace risk. Understand that every significant decision comes with risk. Evaluate them, but don't let them paralyze you. Learn from failures. Not every decision will be a home run. Don't expect it to be. It'll never be that way. You're going to fail. Learn from your mistakes and keep moving forward and stick to your decision. Build a support system. If there's one thing that I could recommend higher than anything else is get around a support system. You know, surround yourself with a mastermind group, people who support and challenge you, and they provide you invaluable feedback and encouragement. This helps you make your decisions and stick to them. And in our modern lives, courage in decision-making might mean starting that new business that you've always dreamed of doing, leaving a secure job for a more fulfilling path, and making a lifestyle change for a better health. These decisions require guts. They require courage, but they can lead to extraordinary outcomes in your lives. And Hill stresses that decisive individuals know exactly what they want to go for and they are determined to get it. They are determined just that. They don't stop. This decisiveness is crucial for any success. Financial, career, health, relationships, it doesn't matter. You have to make those decisions and you have to be decisive on it. And Hill critiques the education system for not teaching the habit of definite decisions. You know, he argues that if students were taught to decide clearly and pursue their goals with determination, we would see way more success from our kids. And here's a few of my practical tips. Define your goals. Be crystal clear about what it is that you want to achieve. Vague goals, make vague decisions. Make decisions that are easy to let go. Make you know, you make those vague decisions and that's the ones that get, yeah, I'll do that later. You know, you, I'll quit, I'm gonna do something else. Plan strategically. Break down your goals into actionable steps. This makes the decision process much less overwhelming. You're just deciding on little chunks, you chunk things down. And here's one of the biggest ones, expect success. You know, approach your decisions with a success mindset. Expecting positive outcomes actually increases your chances of achieving them and sticking to the decisions. If you know you're gonna be successful, guess what, you stick to it. Think about your career. Are you there in a job because you chose it or did you just fall into it? Make a definite decision about where you wanna be and take actionable steps towards it. The decisiveness can open doors that you've never thought possible. When I've made decisions in the past, all of a sudden I started noticing things. I started seeing things. I started meeting people that I needed to meet. Make the, the decision is the start of it, not the end. You don't meet all the people and you don't you know, get the skills and you don't make the money uh, for it first and then make the decision. It's, we're doing it backwards. 
We got to do it the other way around. We've got to make the decision. Then we find the people that we need to know. Then we learn the skills that we need to learn. Then we meet the people. The decision comes first. So there you have it, folks. The art of decision as laid out by Napoleon Hill in Think and Grow Rich. And remember, the power to transform your life lies in your ability to make clear, decisive decisions and taking action. Don't let indecision or the opinions of others hold you back. Trust yourself, embrace the risk, and go after the dreams like your life depended on it, because it does. And thank you for joining me in this series through Think and Grow Rich. Uh, If you found value in today's episode or any of these episodes, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, keep thinking big and making those bold decisions. And remember, folks, your future is created by the decisions that you make today, not tomorrow. So let's make those decisions count.